So open reduction is making an incision and putting the bone back directly. Mm -hmm. Closed reduction is putting the bone back where it needs to be without making an incision. Okay. Um, what's the, the, what do you so do? well, it'll be. So we'll, I'll, 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 I'll explain. I'll okay. explain everything. Okay. Yeah. Internal fixation is fixing the bone with plate and screws. Mm -hmm. External fixation is what I mentioned briefly before, putting pins in your femur and pins in your leg. Okay. And it's kind of going to look like you have a giant cage around your okay. leg. It's going to be external. All right. Okay. You'd have two yeah. pins here. You'd have two pins here. Mm -hmm. Two or three. And it's going to span your knee and stabilize it so it's not moving around. How long would you have that on? That would be on for probably a couple of weeks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But so here's the thing. Let me tell you what I think is the most likely scenario. So yeah. those those are all the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think the most likely scenario is we take you to the operating room tomorrow mm -hmm. and put an X fix on, mm -hmm. which is the two pins with a spanning big cage. Okay. And you stay like that for a couple of weeks. Okay. Wait for the swelling to go down, mm -hmm. and then go in and fix it definitively. Okay. It does need internal fixation. All right. Yeah. Okay. It needs to be fixed with plate and screws. Mm -hmm. Putting an X fix on, so that would be closed reduction and an X fix, okay. which is what I think is likely tomorrow. <coughs> it gets you in the right ballpark, and mm -hmm. it protects the knee. It protects the blood vessels yeah, that are crossing absolutely. the knee. Protects the nerves. Protects the soft yeah. tissue. Um, but it's a temporizing treatment. There's certain things that can be managed mm -hmm. definitively with X-Fix. Long bones can. Um, articular fractures you have here, the fractures that go into the joint, mm -hmm. they need to be anatomically reduced. They need to be as perfect as you can get them, okay. which you can't do with an X-Fix. That gives you stability. Um, but if you're not, if you're off a little bit, you're going to get arthritis. Even with, so you've had this injury, you're going to get arthritis there. Um, at some point, you're, you're at an increased risk of arthritis anytime you damage the articular surface. Okay, get it as close as possible to normal, but once you've gone through into that joint, you're at risk of arthritis. Okay. How long do you think she'll be in the hospital? I, I think you could leave tomorrow or the following day. Okay. With an X, if, if you get X fixed. Okay. But it's not X-Fix. Is, is there a possibility she could get the internal? Um, There's a possibility. So we're going to keep you up on pillows. On okay. Yes, it so it will depend on the swelling. It's possible they decide to definitively fix tomorrow. It's possible that there's no X-Fix and you wake up and you'll just have incisions. The question is whether they're going to do one or two incisions. The bone is, it's, it's a bad injury. Okay. The injury that you have is, is a bad injury. Um, whether they can do it all through one or whether they can get, they have to go from both sides will be up to Dr. Nascon. Um, it will depend how swollen you are. Okay. Most tibial plateau fractures will be treated with X-Fix first, some type of mobilization first, wait for swelling to go down. If, if someone's not super swollen, you could, sometimes you can get to it right away, um, but most tibial plateaus, they're swollen. This is a bad injury, you're going to be swollen. Um, and so for you, it's in your best interest to wait until the swelling goes down. Okay. So, risks of surgery. Before we get into surgery, again, I want to emphasize compartment syndrome. Okay, so looking at your x-rays, it looks like your, looks like your knee was dislocated as well. Okay, on those initial x-rays, um, it looks like you're out. When we put you out to length, you came back in and you're in an immobilizer and on a CT, you're in the immobilizer on CT and you went back in. That's why I want to get AGI. So I want to make sure that there's no, anytime you dislocate, I want to make sure there's not damage to the vessels. So preliminarily, no problem. I don't think the formal report is up yet. Um, if it is anything but, if it is, have more walk, we'll come back and we'll discuss next, next steps, but preliminarily it's normal. Okay. And unless you hear from me, it's normal. Okay. If it's not normal, I will come and let you know. Okay. Um, but with this with this injury, you've done damage to the soft tissue, so you're at a risk of compartment syndrome. So very important to keep it elevated. If your pain is getting worse, very important to let the nurse know. We don't want them to just keep giving you more pain meds. We want to know if your pain is getting worse. Yeah, it's just the same. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, how is how how bad is the pain right now? Um, it's fine. It's reasonable. you look reasonably comfortable. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, any numbness or tingling? Also, 
Yeah. Let someone know right away. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think. Um, because that would indicate nerve damage, right? It's it's a sign that she may be developing compartment syndrome. So a lot of things can cause numbness and tingling. The thing that we'd be most worried about, yes. Yeah, so it could could be vascular, it could be ischemia that can cause numbness. Um, big thing we're worried about. If so, if ABI is normal, low risk for an arterial injury would be the pressure getting so high in the legs that it's compressing some of those cutaneous nerves, the nerve that innervate the skin, and it's causing tingling. That's something we want to know right away. Um, that's something we take you to the OR for. Okay, but we don't need to go, uh, we're just keeping an eye on you. Okay, I'm going to tell my colleague yeah. who's here overnight just to come down and check and make sure mm-hmm. that you're not getting more swollen. Okay. 